Hello, my friends. It's December 8th, 2016, and it's time for today's big story. <laughs> the last 12 hours or so have been complete insanity. Every corner of the internet you turn to, it's Super Mario Run. There's Super Mario Run videos. There's Super Mario Run interviews. There's Super Mario Run gameplay information. Everything is Super Mario Run. You cannot get away from it, probably because the game's launching next week, so Nintendo's doing just a little bit of promotion for it. It's almost like last night, Nintendo flipped the Switch and they were like, alright, time to talk about Super Mario Run. Everybody's gonna talk about it. Uh, it all happened when the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon had on Reggie and Miyamoto to talk about Super Mario Run. They played a bit. They also showed off some Breath of the Wild on the Switch, but uh, all day today has been Super Mario Run. You, you cannot get away from it. So it's hard to focus on just one thing, so we're going to just cover quickly a whole bunch of things that you're going to want to check out. So first things first, we have the entire round of footage from the Tonight Show appearance with Reggie and Miyamoto. Uh, you get to see the Super Mario Run footage there, as well as the Breath of the Wild footage running on Switch. You get to see some of Miyamoto playing in uh, the band that's on the Tonight Show, The Roots. He's playing the Super Mario Brothers theme. So you can check out all that content if you want to. So then there's just interview after interview after interview with Reggie and Miyamoto about Super Mario Run. Uh, you can check out Reggie talking about why Nintendo hopes Super Mario Run is going to be a big hit for them, their big push into mobile, uh, why Super Mario Run isn't going to be on the Switch, but it might come to the Apple TV. They also talk about why there's not going to be NES games on mobile devices. Uh, Miyamoto talks about bringing back lapsed fans through Super Mario Run and why the game doesn't feature microtransactions and instead just has one price to it. He discusses how speedrunners were a big inspiration for Super Mario Run. There's also uh, Reggie talking about why they took the pricing approach they did. Uh, there's Miyamoto talking about how Super Mario Run can be a game that anyone can play from ages 5 to 95. He talks about the surprising inspiration from Neko Atsume when he's creating the game. Uh, Reggie even sat backstage at The Tonight Show and answered fan questions about Super Mario Run. It's insane. There's so much content. Uh, go to GoNintendo.com and check out the top stories to see all the stuff that I'm talking about in detail. I think my favorite bit from all this content isn't even something serious, it's something stupid that BuzzFeed did. Uh, Nintendo has been talking about how you can play Super Mario Run one-handed, and they wanted to put that to the test, so they sat down with Shigeru Miyamoto and gave him like cupcakes and cakes and different stuff to eat while he's playing the game to see if he could do it, you have to check out the whole video. There are comments all over the place from you guys flying in everywhere, so it's it's hard for me to, to pick. I just grabbed one from a random story. Uh, Z Saberlink says, Considering Nintendo's goal is to get people to play their main games, how Nintendo is doing Super Mario Run seems like a decent strategy. Give them a fun taste, but then have a much larger experience on consoles. If it's currently working with Pokemon Go, you can only hope it does so with Super Mario Run. Uh, I completely agree with that, and Nintendo's been saying that over and over again. Pokemon Go has greatly influenced the sales of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and we know that a new Mario game is coming out on the Switch, so you would hope that uh, Super Mario Run does impact those sales and gets people interested in playing Mario games on bigger, more traditional platforms. And that is today's big story for December 8th, 2016. You absolutely have to take some time to read some of this content. There's just so much of it. Like I said, just ch check the Top Stories tab on Go Nintendo. Uh, it's insanity. There's just so much content pouring out. I hope you enjoyed this little feature. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it. And uh, I guess that's it for today. We will be seeing you tomorrow. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!